Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing, the one place where we try to help you take your ideas, turn them into reality, and uh, do that by helping you change your behaviors. Change those bad inventing behaviors to in an entrepreneurial behaviors to good inventing and entrepreneurial behaviors. So, uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about an experience I had a while back um, while I was drinking some coffee at a McDonald's. Uh, so I was at this fast food establishment, and um, while I was there, and you know, actually, when you kind of hang around in you know, kind of odd places like that, and you're just sitting there and you're being very, very observant, you can pick up on a lot of things. You can learn a lot of very, very interesting things. And sometimes they're just little nuanced things that will just give you inspirations for things you would have never imagined. And this was the case for me. So I was in there and I was watching the uh, waste management technician uh, go through and pull out uh, the garbage bags. And they were actually clear garbage bags. I don't know if you've ever seen some of the fast food restaurants. Most of the garbage bags are clear. They're not uh, uh, dark like these are. But uh, they, so they pull it out and it's just full and you can see what's on the inside. It's all of these uh, half drunk, uh, 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 drink containers and half full drink containers and, and you know half eaten food and and you know just all this waste and a lot of the liquid had just kind of settled down at the bottom but it wasn't leaking so she tied this up she took it out to wherever they take their garbage out to and then she put another one in and this is what really got me is she got another one out and I figured out her secret of why it wasn't leaking because these were kind of like thin bags, you know, the, the thin clear bags that they use in, in the fast food restaurants. So she had a bag and she stuck another bag inside of it. And so she put the, the double bag in there. And so that kind of gave me a, a sort of a flash of inspiration, really. And that's that inventors and entrepreneurs need to be able, need to have the ability to double bag. And what do I mean by double bagging? Well, I mean have a, have a plan B, have a backup plan, have a contingency plan. And the reason we do that is not because we're sure things are going to go wrong every time, but that we know at some point something's always going to go wrong and we never know what that wrong thing or where it's going to come from. Uh, you know, a supplier may suddenly dry up on you. Uh, you may, that one product test may just completely flop. And you may have to completely change your design. You may have um, a customer suddenly love something and then all of a sudden they suddenly hate something. And so you always have to have these backup plans, these contingency plans. Plans for things that you don't realize may happen. Maybe that idea that you thought was going to be the next iPhone just completely failed, just completely flopped. Nobody, nobody cared. You thought everybody was going to line up for it like the iPhone. Maybe the product that you came out with and you thought might, might have a modest response to suddenly has a line out the door like the release of an iPhone at the Apple store. So you never know what's going to happen, but you have to be able to plan for that. Uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll do this uh, with uh, when we teach our Kickstarter class is we say the, the one of the one of the you know, all, everybody's always afraid with Kickstarter classes that, or with, with a Kickstarter campaign rather, that they were, uh, that they're going to just not meet the goal and not get the money and, and fail. And sure, that's a reasonable uh, thing to be, you know, to, to try to prepare against and, and, and plan out and, you know, you try to, um, you know, do all the things that you need to do to prepare for that. But another aspect of a big Kickstarter failure that people don't realize is the if you suddenly have a big demand, you meet your demand, you exceed your demand, and you're like, oh no, now we really have to build this thing. And you really didn't plan for that. And you really didn't plan it out very, very well. Or maybe something that you thought was going to just work perfectly, when, oh, we're just going to call this guy up and he's going to build these for us, and it doesn't work that way at all. Or, you know, because customers can go belly up. They can, uh, they can go away. 
We had um, a mantra. People made fun of me in my business because the people that worked for me, I, I think they made fun of me behind my back. I, I'm not sure. But they, uh, they used to say, oh, yeah, Don Skaggs, three quotes for everything. Because that was, I said, yeah, I don't care if we're buying pencils. We get three quotes for everything. We always have a, we always have a couple of backups in there. So uh, I always have backups. Always double bag. And that way, when the garbage, that unromantic uh, uh, part, that the, the, the ugly parts of, of being an entrepreneur, ha having a startup, being a business, being an inventor, when those ugly parts start to happen, those ugly, nasty things that nobody wants to talk about, or nobody, nobody can romanticize very much, it kind of like taking out the garbage. When those things happen, you'll be prepared because you'll be double bagged. That nasty juice, uh, garbage juice won't come leaking out onto your shoes. So, so be prepared, have a good backup plan, have a contingency plan. And uh, you know, you, you can't plan for everything. So you, sometimes you have to get creative, but at least realize that. So, you know, it'll help you do one or two things. You won't, you know, sit up at night or staring at the ceiling, worrying about what's going to happen. Uh, if this happens, or if this goes, you think, no, okay, I've thought this through. I've got a contingency plan. Or you won't lay awake at night after something has happened. You're thinking, oh my God, I didn't plan for this. Now what am I going to do? You think ahead and think, okay, if this happens, we'll do this. And that helps a lot. And it's not perfect in every time. And in, you know, stuff just comes out of left field and hits you sometime, and that's okay. That, that'll happen sometimes. But you just, you just have to be as prepared as you can be. Because when you hit the ground, stuff happens. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing TV. Check out our website, empoweredinventing.com. We've got new things. We're coming out on our website all the time. Uh, and I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, one of our, one of our on online classes maybe, or on the next video.